guys, <clears throat> here we are, uh, back on Wind Chaser. Um, spraying some of our fields here. You can see we have a large field of corn growing. Um, 19. Currently spraying PK. It is the uh, first grow stage, so the wheel lane script won't, uh, technically it's second, so the wheel lanes won't trample our crops. Um, if you guys watched uh, my latest video, you will know that I finished up my uh, 2730 combination disc rippers, so pretty happy with how that turned out. Also updated all the, uh, well, probably like 70% of my mods with the decal flickers, the ones that I'm not going to go back and redo for, you know, a long, long time. The only ones I really haven't updated are my, uh, kind of like John Deere tractors and combines, because uh, those need to be redone as well as the DV120, but fix the decal flicker issue, thanks to the Julian, so really simple. You actually have to go into the shapes shapes tab and add like a, like a thickness geometry to the one plane. One plane add strips and it solves the issue. So pretty happy uh, with that. I thought it was my graphics card for some reason because everything was flickering. Uh, all the decals were flickering even on the in-game machines, so I thought I thought for sure it was my graphics card, which it it definitely may be, but it seemed to um, fix majority of the issues I was having with a lot of mods. But um, mirror that mirror is still kind of flickering, so knows if it actually fixed it or not. We're going to have to put down some herbicide here because we got some weeds going. So hopefully this is the uh, last application of nutrients we have to do before harvest. I would uh, like to get an application of herbicide on here. But we could also roll these fields again, put in a little bit of moisture. Since uh, it's just first growth emergence on like the soybeans and stuff, definitely roll our beans. Alright. So that means both 11s are done. I know Jake did.
see the uh, big dairy farm is gated off. I have to buy it. Or use it. Uh, added uh, Milo to the drapers. So what else do we have? Tens, they don't need anything. Did 12 need anything? No, 12 didn't need anything. 11 south needs line. That didn't get done. Um, 19 needs anything. 19 needs nitrogen. 37 need anything? Oh shit, 37 needs a lot. So 19 and 37 both need quite a bit. They need PK on 37. So we'll move our rig on down 37. Big soybean field, it looks like.
like this feel. It's uh, very open. <clears throat> Not a lot going on. Nice little road and power lines. Lake view over here. Just a nice change of views. It's kind of a, kind of a triangular shaped field. So in that regard, it's a little awkward, but it's, uh, still a nice big field. A lot of acres here. I think this one is 90 acres. 19 is 120 acres, field 2 is 100 acres, so we got some nice size fields. Both 44s are close to 100 acres, I think. 95 or something. So hopefully we can get uh, harvesting in the next couple weeks here, and once we do, you know, take care of our, our crops and do our due diligence with soil soil management, nutrient management. Added uh, Milo. that we can use to help us get through. Um, I paid off like 300000 in loans, but I'm probably going to have to take out another line of credit because <laughs> uh, I don't think we're going to have enough to make it to harvest based on how our property taxes are and our land lease and equipment. And we're burning up a lot of money in uh, spring. so I can like buy another farm and uh, more, you know, take out an even bigger loan um, to buy, a, buy another farm, uh, the North Grain Farm, and buy more land. We're 
gonna have to start planting a lot more, um, a lot more Draper uh, crops, more sunflower, more um, soybean, more uh, rye, oat, because we're, we're we're maxed out on our how much we can sell in an hour of corn. Um, we're gonna be well over that this next this next. Next harvest, we're projected at 2.5 million liters of corn. In our last great demand, me and Jake were only able to sell 1.6 million liters between the two of us. But we're also running into uh, a little bit of an issue of triggers, and we're running our T600, uh, which is kind of pretty underpowered to run dual 36 foot trailers. So maybe our CT660 at yeah, whatever it is, 500 and 600 out of horsepower be able to pull those trailers a lot better so I imagine with that bigger truck we'd probably be able to get um, at least an additional load load of grain in if not two two uh, two additional loads in within the hour because that one truck you would uh, be able to go from point A to point B probably three minutes less you're probably looking at a 10 minute round trip. So um, every three trips, you basically get an extra one. So maybe every four, if I'm being a little bit conservative. Um, don't really know, but probably get a load and a half in, an extra load and a half in per hour. Which is significant, especially when you're hauling like 80, forget what we're hauling with that, like 86,000 liters or something like that with the dual 36 footers. Um, so, be able to, you know, put in an additional 120,000, 130,000 profit. <laughs> second truck like that or you get a third truck in there whether it's a 600 or a CT that's a that's a whole another eight nine hundred thousand meters three trucks should be able to do 2.5 million anyway you know 2.5 2.6 million I think that should be a doable amount. Uh, be pushing the envelope for sure, but I still think it's definitely doable. I mean, we definitely get, in, you know, 90% of our crops at an elevator and sold, so that's good enough. And then we can have a little bit left over like we currently do. Uh, we're kind of uh, in flux mid-season, kind of a little stimulus influx of cash. Uh, we have like 120,000 liters of corn left in our bins. Um, great demand. There's another great demand for corn coming up in like a day or two or something. So it'd be nice to empty out our bins there and get, you know, actually 20, 30,000, whatever it's going to end up being. That will at least help pay for our spraying expense, or at least a portion of it. We're not spraying all of our fields. We're doing pretty uh, uh, localized spraying in a lot of these fields. We're not putting down a massive amount of chemical like we would at preseason. Assuming they finished mowing. Uh, we 
we bought a 
thing is dirty. Sunflower looks pretty nice. Come in here. So I'm assuming we have to merge. Where's the truck?
Alpha is done. So then we'll come up here, we'll go to wind rowers, we'll rent. Zoom out here because <coughs> I'm thinking I'm going to call it a day. Anyways, you can see a lot of our crops growing um, all the way back there in the corner. So we are farming all of that, <coughs> all the possible acres there. Um, then we're farming basically up to the road. We haven't quite uh, made it across the road yet, but if we ever get over there, um, I'd like to pick up like. 35, 36, 16, 8, 9. That way we'd have a, you know, basically the whole southern part of the map. And then we got uh, two extra fields up there at 37. You can see how small 37 looks, and as well as um, 19. But if you zoom out, you can see uh, field uh, 20 alfalfa crop is all mowed. So you can see that we're doing some serious acres here, uh, about uh, 1,300 acres is what we're currently farming. And we have about 1,300 acres more to go. Um, so technically we are farming about half of the map. Um, it's a lot of work, I'll tell you that. You went with like uh, three, four guys working, you know, on it, still a lot of a lot of work to do for each individual. So, anyways, I'm kind of itching to get a. Oh, you can see the Hercules, Hercules. Uh, I'm kind of itching to get like a 44 or 40 uh, pay, uh, case uh, sprayer, with 120 foot boom, um, with the quad track cab and kind of like a combine uh, joystick console and stuff like that. So. Uh, make spraying a little bit easier, more capacity, more working with, and a little bit more, a um, little bit nicer model for our sprayer. Um, it's either that or a rogator, but I'm kind of burnt out from modeling, so I want to do as little as work as possible. So if I win with the case, I could borrow a lot of, 
a lot of the modeling and you know the difficult parts you know the cab and cab interior that are pretty much already done so the body tank from frames you know all that you know it's it's just slapping rectangles and giving them bevels so it's nothing special so anyways did a little bit of spraying today i uh, got a lot more spraying to do um so thanks for watching